I come from the country where democracy was born. Democracy is in my DNA. Greece is a small country with a long history and a great culture. I'm used to fight for equal opportunities. I'm proud that I am the first candidate for IFLA presidency in its history, not only from Greece, but also representing the whole Mediterranean region, the melting pot where a mix of cultures meet and match, people from Europe, Africa, MENA region. It means also refugee populations from Asia, people from Latin America living together in this crossroad of vital social, cultural and geographical importance. No leadership position succeeds if it is not based on the values of integrity, impartiality, respect to diversity and equality. It was in Athens, my own hometown, where IFLA transformation started with the process of the global vision. Global vision has inspired me very much and I was involved in all the three phases of the process. Global vision, IFLA strategy and now the new um, IFLA stru structure. The coming years, we should reap the benefits of what all of us started. Under my presidency, members will be first. You will be first. I will create a members program, an approach of what IFLA can do to its members, listening to the different regional voices, so then IFLA can provide detailed made deliverables by designing membership strategies and echo echoing your needs. I am going to fix a calendar to have regional meetings according to the new structure of IFLA. You can blow out a candle, but not to blow out a fire. I will push IFLA to reach out to you. I want to hear to your voices. As a woman from Puerto Rico who got involved in IFLA's work while living in Puerto Rico and speaking mainly Spanish, I can appreciate opportunities brought up by the Global Vision to help bring diverse voices into IFLA. I remember my only involvement with IFLA was at the Congress. This is why, as IFLA president, I want to work with you to ensure that librarians from all regions have a voice in shaping IFLA's future. I will bring my experience as the governing board that has strategized for the Global Vision and as chair of the ALP Action for Development Through Libraries program, where we helped strengthen library associations with BSLA, the Building Strong Library Associations program. We must build on the practices of regional library engagement we have seen during the Global Vision process increasing collaboration with regional and national library associations is key. Associations in our region of the world are doing already remarkable work, and I propose IFLA build on that, working together, a great team championing causes close to the regions, advocacy campaigns, or a project to strengthen library associations connecting with IFLA members in their language and hosting events at local hours for the regions. This will provide local librarians with opportunities to engage, actively share ideas, and have a voice. We will be growing leaders that will shape IFLA's future together. Over the last few years, through the Global Vision, IFLA has done an extraordinary amount of consultation. I was at the kickoff meeting in Athens as we embarked on the exciting journey to build a stronger IFLA. Since that time, I have participated in many meetings across the globe, in person and online. Most recently, as one of the leads of the Governance Review, I have seen firsthand that our members and volunteers are keen to participate in our work to strengthen the association. Your participation has been invaluable, and IFLA needs to continue to involve associations, institutions, members and volunteers. In the last 12 months, our roundtables delivered via Zoom have been an effective way to engage members in shaping IFLA's future. These opportunities for engagement and discussion must continue to be scheduled. Like you, I am really looking forward to the launch of the new IFLA website. Its new functionality and design will enable stronger communication and interaction. Our new regional councils, which commence in August this year, will be an important mechanism for two-way communication between our regions and the governing board. We need to work together to ensure their potential is fully realised. I also know that consultation isn't an end in itself. Members need to see action as a result. 
So I would have a two-pronged approach, checking in regularly with members along the way, but also making sure we have an action plan that's delivering the change we have promised.